Iris Warriors, The Birth of Colour, is made up of two sets of stories, two sets of characters. The first story, which is set in a small orphanage in England during World War II, works like bookends. It frames or embraces the second story of the Iris Warriors. Eight children and their teacher, Miss Shaw, played by Jessica Brown Finlay, are trapped in the cellar seeking shelter from the German bombers overhead. In a desperate attempt to distract the children, Miss Shaw shares a mythical story with them, a timeless tale that magically transports them to another world. This part makes it more accessible and opens the story up to a wider audience, especially those a little skeptical about a story being told through ballet. The second story is the ballet, the magical world that the children, and we the audience, are transported to. It is a creation myth of the Iris Warriors and tells of the union and conflict of darkness and light, which leads to the birth of the colors, the Iris Warriors. The warriors fill their world with dance, color, and life, but a dark force threatens to destroy them. I did a campaign for one of the largest banking corporations in the UK, and it took me to 17 countries in 36 days. It allowed me to see the state of the world. What does it mean to, when we talk about global warming, what, do we, what does it mean when we talk about you know, overpopulation, the population being at its capacity in these different countries and different places, which made me feel a sense of loss and worry of, of you know, bringing a child into this world. So all these themes are running around in my head and, and, and I was trying to think of a way of how I could tell my son the, the story of creation through something far more graphic and more beautiful and something that was going to be universal and hopefully unite people. When Royden first gave me the idea of the Iris Warriors, um, you know, it's an idea that a lot of people, a lot of people on this project, a lot of people on this film shoot say, wow, I've never seen anything like that, didn't quite understand it at first, it's very left field. And people have asked me that question, what did I think about it when Royden first gave me the story? First of all, that it was original, and second of all, that Royden had clearly had a passion for this story. Um, and if I can help somebody take an idea that they have and, and, and bring it more fully to life, then that's something that I love doing. I suppose it's a creative vision because it has so many aspects to it. It's a ballet, it's a movie, it's a stage production, it's a book. It's, it's got um, so many legs that I don't think you can really box Iris Warriors. I don't think it has a cubby hole that you can put it into. Iris Warriors is a fantasy which I think from my side appears to have been written on many layers. It has many layers. It's the old fight between good and evil. The children will see it purely as a fantasy, as this beautiful, beautiful fantasy where the book is opened and these characters come to life. Having a background in graphic design, I started to work with shapes and colors. Initially, it was meant to be a picture book for my son, but everything changed when I shared the story with my mother. She was passionate about ballet in her youth, and attended the Academy of Dance in South Africa. When she read the outline, she immediately felt that it would be better to enhance the story with ballet rather than illustrations. The thought had never crossed my mind until that day. But when it did, it was like every light bulb in the world going on. Ballet would capture the movement and brilliance of the light and colors so much more than the illustrations. Um, and the more that idea stuck, the more I realized actually that was definitely the way to tell this. Um, I didn't know how at the time, but that was the way to, to move forward. Having had interest from, from the National Ballet Company, for, from the, one of the choreographers at the National Ballet Company, and I went and met with them. I came with the, with the narrative and took them through the narrative. They liked the idea, but there was this strange standoff. It felt like I wasn't sure who was meant to then lead the project, who was going to take it forward. The third time I met with the choreographer, he, he said that it would, they would like, they loved the story, but they wanted to 
take the story forward without my involvement, which for me was definitely not an option. Um, so then I, I approached um, Sadler's Wells and I approached a number of other um, ballet companies and I had very similar responses. People expressed an interest in the idea, they, but weren't quite sure what to do with it. Hence the idea just for a long period of time just stagnated because we just couldn't get, we couldn't get beyond these barriers. We couldn't get anyone to help us. There were three major challenges to making Iris Warriors, all of them around it being a ballet film. I've attended a number of ballets, but that doesn't qualify me to write one. If this was to be a ballet, we wanted it to be original and appeal to everyone, like The Nutcracker, when it made its first appearance in St. Petersburg in 1892, and which is just as magical when you see it today. We wanted Iris Warriors to live up to this visual spectacle, be a nostalgic, breathtaking feast of color, light, and action. A timeless tale told through music and ballet. A mythical story with bold themes of unity, hope, and balance for all nations and all ages. I know that's a lot, but if you're going to direct a ballet film and it's not jammed wall to wall with explosions and superheroes or animation, you have to give the audience a lot more to keep them engaged. The challenge we faced was how to write a ballet. There was no template, no blueprint. Eventually, we decided to simply write it first as a piece of beautiful poetic fiction and make it so descriptive that whoever read it, composers, choreographers, costume designers, would immediately have a vivid picture in their mind. As we started playing with the story, we began to come up with the idea of framing it within another story. The goal always, once we started moving forward with, with Iris Warriors, was to how could we make it more accessible, more understandable? How could we bring more emotion into it? Um, and we came up, first of all, with this idea of a, of a framing story. In other words, where we start in another story in another world, and then we go into the world of the Iris Warriors as a story being told. Iris Warriors isn't just a film, it's, you know, it's, it's actually, it's a, it's a bigger idea. So, you know, it's, it's also a ballet and it's, um, it's also a story that's going to be something quite unique and quite beautiful and, and, and pretty cutting edge. But I think it's a very clever piece because I think it's, it's been written on, on several levels and people will get different things from it. Mm -hmm.